Hey, what's up, guys? Rana here, and in this video, I'll show you how to create this Twitter logo intro inside of After Effects with Element 3D plugin. So, this intro could be for your YouTube channel intro or your any kind of brand you are in right now. So, let's have a look what we are going to create. So let's get started. Let's go to composition, new composition. To create a new composition, I'm gonna call it Twitter Logo. 90, 20 by 10, 80, 25 frame rate should be fine, and 20 second long, and click OK. Drag this Twitter Logo PNG image in it. So first we need a mask or we have to create a mask inside or outside of this PNG image of this Twitter logo. So let's create a mask. So first let's try this auto trace mask. All the settings should find. Click OK. So with that we have outside mask. So we need inside mask as well. So this auto trace doesn't give us inside mask. So we have to create a inside mask manually by selecting this pen tool. Let's zoom in here. Make sure this layer is selected. Otherwise, it will create a shape layer. If you are familiar with Photoshop pen tool, this kind of same technique that we are going to use. If you click here and click another position here and click and hold, you will have this bezier handle. You can tweak these handles just like that. If you hold Alt, and you have this kind of shape in your pen tool and now go to another point you can create your shape just like that so I'm not gonna draw all the shape since I already have one I'm gonna delete the last shape I select this layer and press M I reveal this two mask and select it and delete it I go to my other composition I'll copy this mask press M and this mask we have to copy it edit copy Let's go back to this layer and select it and paste Ctrl D. Now duplicate the layer, Ctrl D. Now open this up, open the mask. So on the bottom layer, we have to delete one of these masks. Here I will delete the outside mask. On the top layer, I will leave out outside mask and I delete the inside mask. Okay, now we have inside mask and outside mask. Let's create a solid, right click in this layer, in this area, new, solid, I'm gonna call it E3D, element 3D, make a comp size, let's go to effects, video copilot, element, and uh, let's type the word Twitter, put it whatever you want, let's turn off the layer, select the element 3D, solid, Go to custom layers, custom text and masks, select the, let's first rename these layers. So this is going to be outside mask and this is going to be inside mask, okay. In the path layer 1, I would select Twitter and the 2, I would select outside and the path 3, I select inside, outside, inside, okay. Now go to the scene setup. Now click extrude and I'm gonna rename it. I'm gonna type word Twitter. Let's duplicate this Twitter word two times by Ctrl D. Select this middle one and go to the custom path. Select custom path two. We have outside. Let's rename this outside. Now select the bottom one and select custom path three and we have inside. Select the Twitter word and put it down. Let's turn off the grid. And uh, we can't really see the inside, so we have to pull it further a little bit, just like that, by selecting this Z axis. Let's create a plane. Scroll. If you scroll your mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out. Let's select the rotation tool, select the plane, and hold shift. 
and snap it okay just like that the plane is now at the same angle of this outside mask so let's increase the scale of this plane by 20 by 20 okay now select selection tool hold shift select multiple of these pull them up. now it's time to add materials first i'll go with bevels let's add this bevel to the word twitter let's try a different one maybe this fine let's go to the material pro shader 2 metals let's add this metal to the plane and select the plane go to this uv mapping and change this speed by 20 by 20 okay add this same material to this outside let's try this one and add this material to the inside of this logo okay now it's time to change the color let's say okay for now turn off the layer so i need this color this twitter color exact same color so how do you get that so basically i create a solid and pick whip to this color and i have this color code and i simply copy it i cancel the solid so let's go back to scene setup let's go to the outside open this up so we have this material and scroll down in reflectivity we have to change this color we already copy the code color code and simply paste it just like that let's go to the plane scroll down let's change the color and uh, maybe let's darken a bit say okay let's go to the inside let's change the color white let's go to the word twitter let's add this material i would add this metal let's change the color let's change this color as well maybe let's put this one here let's say ok all right let's add show ambient occlusion select all of these just like that and go to the word outside now here we can increase the path resolution this will smooth the edges do the same inside in the word twitter go to the outside Now go to the reflection mode and select mirror surface. In the inside, select the mirror surface. In the Twitter, select the mirror surface as well. Now go to the environment and basic 2K environment and select one of these. Okay, let's say select the plane. Okay, we're done here. Let's say okay. I'll create a light layer new light. Let's create a point light intensity 25 should find. Click OK. Press P bring the position properties. These are X, Y, and Z properties of this light. Let's move the light just like that. You can adjust your light position by changing these values okay let's create a new light this time we will create parallel light let's say okay press p let's increase the intensity of this light double click on this light let's say 50 it's too much let's go with 35 Okay, let's go back to scene setup. Let's go to the crochet the two metals. Let's try this material in the outside. Open this up. 
let's change the color say ok now go to the render settings open the shadow enable the shadow now go to the ambient inclusion enable it ok we're done here now select light let's increase the intensity of this point light about 50 let's create a camera two node camera 28 mm wide angle lens say ok let's move this light a little further let's create a adjustment layer for the top let's call this cc color correction go to effects and color correction select curves let's increase the brightness and contrast just like that okay finally let's add the camera movement select the camera move 20 frame forward by holding shift and page down one two maybe two seconds okay let's move the camera let's go two second forward press p and r to reveal the position and rotation properties make the keyframes and select this camera tool you can orbit around all these camera select the orbit tool or you can press c to change between these tools okay let's put the resolution down let's go to the scene setup select the word outside let's change the reflection to default and the inside change the reflection to default let's say okay this looks much better than before i think we should go with this settings i try out different method but it didn't come well zoom in basically you can show whatever angle you want let's go first frame zoom back and change the angle all right guys now go to these last keyframes and select the camera layer and split it by holding ctrl shift d and select the top layer and press u and delete these keyframe and make another one go to maybe four second make another keyframe move forward let's try different camera angle zoom back here here you can right click and reset it to be centered go here and change camera angle at different perspective Here you can go with the word Twitter. Now open up camera option. You can enable depth of field. Let's increase the aperture. This is your blurriness. Let's change the focus distance. Now we are in focus of this word Twitter and we are out of focus of this word, this Twitter logo. You can make a keyframe on focus distance and aperture. Let's move forward, decrease this aperture, change the focus distance. All right, guys. Now select the position and go to this graph editor. Select uh, this keyframe and you can double click on it. Now we are in this keyframe velocity. So basically, we are interested in in this outgoing velocity. So let's increase the influence about 30 now double click on this this time we are interested in incoming velocity let's decrease the speed about zero we do not need speed at all let's increase the influence 100 and click ok now do the same thing of this bottom camera layer go to the graph editor increase the influence 
double click on this keyframe put speed zero and influence should be 100% click OK alright guys now go to this and uh, reset this orientation maybe this all right I think this position looks fine put it in the center just like that now it's time to select this Twitter what about if we drag and drop new Twitter logo on top of it scale this up 105 covers basically we have to cover that logo with this Twitter PNG image I'll reveal the keyframe of this camera layer and select the top Twitter PNG image and press T to reveal the opacity and uh, make a keyframe move forward out here and uh, opacity of this layer should be zero okay press M select the region now let's make another adjustment layer let's call this looks so I have magic bullet looks to color correct or give a different look to my footage put it to half click edit and here you can select different style of your Twitter logo I select this one click OK alright guys let's ramp preview this I think we have problem in here we don't wanna see this black background so we have to fix this select the camera one so let's change the angle of the all right let's try and preview this select this Twitter PNG image press U now ramp review again all right guys that's the pretty much it this is how you can create your logo intro inside of after effect with element 3d plugin i hope you really enjoyed this video if you really enjoyed it if you like this video please give the like to this video or you can subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos so i see you guys next time